So we got a lot of questions about this laptop asking, is there a space in the laptop for a new drive like uh, a 2.5 inch SSD or hard disk drive? And the answer seems to be yes, only because it also, when you buy the laptop, it also comes with this bracket, which is a two and a half inch bracket. So our guess is there is a space in there. So here's what we did. There was no service manual anywhere to be found. So we took a risk. We bought an SSD drive. It was OEM, so it didn't come with any extras, just the drive. If there is indeed a space inside this laptop, it should accept this. This has a SATA interface with uh, six gigabits per second. So hopefully it works because we really don't want to buy an enclosure and carry around a separate thing. We want this inside the laptop. So we are going to open this up and you can uh, experience with us how this is done and hopefully you can upgrade your MSI as well. First we'll attach the bracket to the SSD drive and this came with the laptop here. So if you turn the SSD drive over, you'll see two little holes on the opposite side of the uh, SATA interface. So you take your bracket and just kind of place it over those holes there. Take your screws and you mount them in. You should have two more screws to attach this SSD drive into your laptop. Let's remove all the screws. There are 14 visible screws to remove, plus one under the factory seal sticker. And there should be some underneath the CD drive too. I also have a lid from a Pringles can so I can put the screws on it and it doesn't roll anywhere. Okay, so I've removed all of the visible screws and there's one more under this factory seal that I'm gonna try and remove. Okay, come on. There we go. If you're worried about warranty, you shouldn't do this. <laughs> okay. This screw here holds down the CD drive, so we're gonna remove the CD drive now. Underneath the CD drive are three more screws. We're gonna remove those too. These screws are a little bit more different. They're flatter and fatter. Okay, so now we're going to try and remove this. Very gently pry it open and use a guitar pick or something flat if you can. I'm going to use this kind of tool here. It's uh, really thin at the edge, if you can see that. There we go. Okay, we have successfully removed the lid and as you can see, there is a spot for a hard drive here. Now I'm gonna lift it a little bit to show you the interface. The interface is right here. Can, if you can see that, right over there. And that's where the interface of the hard drive goes inside. Lay it back down. Now we'll take a hard drive and gently insert it into the interface. There are two screw holes here and here that you should screw down so that SSD doesn't fall out. So let's screw them in with the screws that came with the bracket. Now thankfully there was an open space right here for an extra SSD or hard drive 
and it looks like this is the existing hard drive which is a 512 gigabyte chip and an extra memory slot which is also open for more memory if you want it. This one looks like the battery and uh, the two fans and the heat pipes. So let's close up the case and finish our install. We'll gently replace the cover make sure everything is gently snapped back in place around all of the edges before we screw everything back in place now we're going to screw things in exactly the opposite of the way we did it the first time so there were three screws here where the CD drive is we'll screw that in first Next, we'll screw in the factory seal screw and we'll stick the CD back in. And if you look very closely into this hole here, you can see the CD drive line up for the screw hole there. And we're done. Let's turn on the machine and press delete for BIOS. And if we go to storage information, it shows that the Micron is installed and it recognizes it, which is great. So let's exit without saving. Quit without saving, yes. And boot up Windows. All right, so we don't see it here in the folder. We probably need to initialize it. So let's go to the Windows icon, right click, and click Disk Management. Initialize Disk. So it's recognized that Disk 1, which is the new SSD drive, is there. So we're going to initialize it using the default settings, okay. Unallocated, it's allocated now. Right click, new simple volume, go next. We will make it the maximum amount of space. Letters assigned and format. Perform a quick format, name this 2 TB SSD. And commence formatting. So it's finished formatting and we're able to access the new SSD drive. Great, we're done. Thank you very much for watching this video in the install of an SSD drive into the MSI. GL62VR laptop. If you're interested in checking out prices, we've listed Amazon affiliate links down below for that incredibly inexpensive Micron 2 terabyte SSD and this MSI laptop. Please click the like button if you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to First Look. We shall see you all again next time.